Hey folks, thanks for joining me, Johnny, here at Johnny's Journeys, where today we are going to take a look at the RV lock, key fob, and compact keyless entry keypad lock for the Casita that I switched out the old lock for. So join me. Thanks. This is a remote keyed and keyless entry that I got on Amazon. So to remove the old door handle, I had to remove these four, one, two, three, four um, bolts. One, two, three, four. Um, and then I had to like, I don't know what adhesive was used. So there's, looks like there's two, like a silicone, but then it looks like there was some other kind of adhesive on there that dried and became really crusty. And that was the stuff that was really hard to get off. Um, so, and then, um, you set in, you just pull this out. You have to kind of open the door handle to get it out, to get the, um, thing to go back in that piece and that piece wasn't working right so every time I closed the door I had to close the handle for it to close all the way and then release it really quick before it opened up <laughs> it was like a pain in the butt but you see all that corroded gook that was an adhesive that was used I'm not sure what it was I almost thought it was uh you know, that putty stuff, but no, it's not really acting like that. I don't know why, but anyway, um, and then, you know, the lock just pulls right out of this, uh, pin here and that's how I got it off. Then, um, basically you just fit the new lock in the position of this lock and put this part over it on the inside but you have to line up the lock and you have to line up the paddle. So on the other side, the paddle has this little piece here so that it moves when you open the paddle. See? So for the inside to work, this piece right here has to line up with that. And I originally put the new one in with this open. Um, which like that, which did not work because then I couldn't open it or close it. So I had to take that, this panel, this piece off and realign it so that it was like that. And it was engaging with this piece on the new one. But otherwise it was pretty darn easy. The only other issue I had, and you'll see now with the finally installed version is the it's not straight one of the holes is a little bit off and i didn't you know i'm not really great at drilling things or anything but i put it in a little bit off like this and it fit and everything works so i'm just leaving it like that currently i may go back and and try to figure it out but this this end needs to come down just a little bit um you know, and I tried really hard. So, um, yeah, it's really great. It's remote and you can unlock by using your number combination and push unlock, or you can lock it by using your number combination and pushing lock. Uh, and you can also use the keys. So, you know, it's a pretty cool door handle. And now I can just go like this. Well, I go a little harder than that like that and it closes see can't open it. Um, and then I can lock it remotely which is really great yeah that's that there's the inside piece and you can see it's just a little bit tilted but everything works and everything's fine so no problems right now I may try to figure out how to make there's one hole I think it might be this one or this one 
has to be a little bit further down or this one has to be a little bit over here. So I could just, you know, redrill it or try to, cause this is a, like a, a metal covering over a, a foam insulated door. So, you know, I have to kind of trim things out a little bit if I want to do that. Yeah. So this is the reset button. Uh, there's, this is turning on the remote. I forget. One is door reset and one is something else. Something open. I'm sorry, I can't tell. And this is the batteries in here. Yeah, so it was a great upgrade. I also picked up today in the mail the replacement for the window. So I'll be doing that too. And I'll show you all of that. And now I'm going to continue with trying to rip the rug up. All right, guys, take care.